Now, the 10-minute drill. This is a big one. Brought to you by TireOutlet.com. Wholesale prices, premium service. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit it. Yes. I want to rock. Win. Yes. Right now. You're in luck, friend. Prize pack coming up in just a minute. Beef, what do you got? Yes. We're sending our Googans up northbound and down for a dinner for two at Boston's Restaurant and Sports Bar, plus for the next four way, foray away from the First Coast, some free airport parking from our friends at usapark.net. I flipped on, this isn't a question, this is a concept of rationalization for you, though, oh. but I flipped on the, uh, gave myself about a good 20-minute, uh, had a nice little dinner last night at, uh, at the house. Reagan made steakums. Which we oh, haven't had ooh. ever in our those, entire. Those are good for you. In our entire, uh, yeah, I know. In our entire Just so marriage, so greasy and delicious. Ah, that's good. Oh. Chopped up some onions. Mm, oh yeah, so Mrs. Good. P makes those. What eggs. are steakums? Oh come oh, on, come on, man! Did you not go to college? I ah. did, but I had like <laughs> ramen noodles in college. Exactly, uh, same uh, thing. Steakums yeah, is the, that real thin, like frozen steak that yeah, you get. They're awful. In... They're delicious. Yeah. Like Salisbury steak? No, no it's like thinner, thin, like sandwich, like like Philly cheese steak kind of steak. Okay. So good. Oh, my, but it's, oh. it's, it, I mean, one, Delicious. Thin, one oh. thin sheet of steakum has, I believe at last check, 80 grams of uh, fat oh, no and doubt. 500 calories. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. You, That's you, why it's good. But, good but, but it's you, so good. You, you, you fry it up all greasy. You throw some Swiss or provolone cheese oh, on it. You throw it on that some, hoagie roll. Oh. Some yellow mustard. Right. But oh. anyway, during that time, mm. while I was wolfing down we a little steakum. No one brings us food anymore around here. We're unloved. We got plenty of food. I'm hungry. We got food yesterday. Well, yeah, I was going to say, people <laughs> from Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's sponsor. I need a Guggen Army to, you know, show some thanks this Thanksgiving. Roll up with some steakers. <laughs> anyway, uh, I had the Duke game on, so I was watching Duke. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, and we, they rave about Zion, and they rave about well, Reddish Barrett. is good, the too. Reddish yeah. kid is unreal, no, I know. Oh, man. I tried it's to tell you that so last week. good. They may go one, two, three in the NBA draft. They've had four games. Good gosh, three good. three of the four games, their four freshmen have outscored the other team. Really good, man. <laughs> really, gosh. Oh, by the, the way, kid. and by the way, before we get to, to some take more, any some more topics, yeah. Um, again, we sell you. This is an un, if you're a basketball fan, you need to get on that. Uh, you know, get on the web and look at what the schedule and the scoreboard is every day. We've got unbelievable basketball matchups every day tonight. Auburn and Duke at the Maui. Auburn's number eight in the country. Yeah. So that'll, that'll be a fun game uh, yeah. to watch. And there are a ton of games like that over the course of the next six days. So, I mean, if you're a basketball fan, uh, hop on there and, and, you know, matter of fact, a little later today, just as a Thanksgiving gift to everyone, I may give you a one a day for the next five days that are just, um, you know, can't I miss. I like it. I'm on the Steakums website, and I see a recipe for Steakum and eggs. Oh, so I might have to bring that in tomorrow. That Try would, that. That, would be, <laughs> that might be in heaven right Delish. there, kid. Delish. Yes. That, that would be good, too. One well, of steak them sandwiches, heaven. though, are awesome. I yeah. mean, but they're really greasy and bad for you. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you. Perfect. Yeah. Right before Thanksgiving. Yeah, why not? All right, uh, uh, let's get to the 10-minute drill, shall we? Let's do it. Uh, well, Dan, uh, Doug Marone, uh, you know, trotted to the uh, you know, teleconference yesterday and mm-hmm. said, like he's been saying and like they've all been saying for five years, yep, Blake will be the man this Sunday. I, uh, at any point this season, is there a reason to, to change that plan? I mean, if they get mathematically eliminated, will we see that? See or who? Who do we got? Anyone. Do? There's no one to see. I mean, we know what we got. I mean, there's no answers here. The answer is not So you're here. positive that Blake Bortles is better than Kessler? Yes. Positive. I'm, I'm positive that Kessler wouldn't have made it through the game Sunday. That's what I'm positive about. So, um, yeah. I uh, Yes. Uh, there's no there's – no, is you there know, any I mean, concern you ruined well, the kid's career the last six games? Whose career? Blake's. That well, is, I mean. You drive his confidence to a point of no return if it's not there already? There's no return anyway. It's over. The dream is over. There's, there's. Well, that's my point. Then why don't you play someone else? Because the there's nobody over? else to play. We have to have a plan for next year. I got yeah, news. Yeah, he's, will be not on the on the, he's not on the roster, whoever he is. He's not on the roster. This is not, this is, this is, I mean. They thought so highly of Landry Jones, they cut him yesterday. Well, it was clear you that. wanted him to trot out there. We're not I wanted these guys. someone. He's the only guy on the roster. That's They're, what I'm just telling yeah, you. There's nobody yeah. there. We got no one. Well, Kessler's played three quarters as good as Blake's played all year. I don't know. I think the fans wouldn't mind seeing somebody other than Kessler lost five. two fumbles or fumbled twice and, and threw for, I mean, it, it's, it's not, no. 
I mean, I don't care if they do. That's fine. I just do think people be mad. There's not a better backup quarterback like well, the well, Ravens backups. have. Again, I thought that. Well, could have gotten Bridgewater in the offseason. I think um, any hindsight that would be the. I think. Um, you know, I'm not no because I think you know when you get a backup quarterback, you get him with the idea that he's the backup, and that if you need him for a game or two, he can go in and be effective. And I think Cody Kessler can be. I just don't think he's a uh, week to week NFL starting quarterback. But don't other teams get a backup quarterback to eventually succeed the current quarterback? Well, if you and have a plan. Well, if, <laughs> the best laid plans of mice and men. I mean, we draft. Uh, yeah, there's lots of times where they're. You know, they drafted Blake Borles. They were going to sit him for a year behind Chad Henney. That plan didn't go uh, either. Um, so uh, you don't always have – you usually have a veteran guy sitting there and holding the clipboard and making $3 million. If you have a young quarterback, dollars. you have a veteran backup. And if you have a veteran quarterback, you have a young like Josh McCown is a, is, a, is a good NFL backup quarterback for the Jets, and he went in and stunk the joint up against the Buffalo Bills last Sunday. So, I mean – you know, backup quarterbacks are backup quarterbacks. Unless you have a first-round pick who you've, you know, like when you had an, in Green Bay, when you had Brett Favre starting and Aaron Rodgers sitting and, you know, you, you wanted to see what you had. Um, those are the only cases. I, I, the one thing that, that gets thrown around that I, I would say isn't as categorically true as it's implied, and it's not all Blake Bortles. Well, you're right. It's not all Blake Bortles. It's Blake Bortles. It's quarterback play. It's what has kept this team – in in neutral. If if this team had Jared Goff, do you think they would be three and seven? I think they'd be uh, seven probably, and three. Probably not. Yeah. I don't think so. I mean so, he's anyway. a great he's a of course he's we're, it's, it's, one of the best quarterbacks in the league right now. He wasn't two years ago. No. He had a bad rookie year. So anyway. Last year he was pretty good. Yeah, he's very good. Uh speaking of the Rams, Aaron Donald is a uh, uh, interesting study to me because I remember seeing him in, in Mobile. He leads the NFL, by the way, with 14 and a half sacks. He's a defensive tackle, ladies and gentlemen. He ain't like a he defense. He might get to 20. He's not a pass-rushing defensive end, okay? He's a defensive tackle who didn't have the – to me, the interesting thing is nobody would have had the guts to take him at the top of the draft. And a lot of people thought, man, this guy is going to be a great player, but he didn't fit the mold body-wise because he's not 340-pound defensive tackle. But he is such a dynamite player, and he was a dynamite player at Pitt. If you go look up his numbers at Pitt, and if you watched him even at the Senior Bowl, you would have realized how how I, we were good of a football yeah. player he was. I, remember, I think he was on that team that Jameis went up there and played like a Monday night game again. But you must have the conviction, I guess, is my question is, you know, like, it's kind of like, you know, because when you're wrong on those guys, then you get ridiculed, I guess. And I guess that's why they don't do it, but. Aaron Donald ended up going get, but in, in fairness, 13th too, in the draft. Yeah, I was going to say, he didn't go. Yeah, but he could have arguably could have been, you know, number two in the draft. Is there a question in there, or we're just? No, I'm just <laughs> bringing that up. Yeah, that's fine. I, I wasn't trying to be smart, Alec. I was just, well, listen. I think I asked the question. You did? Yeah. Which one? Which I think one? you went right by it. What was the question? You play back the tape. I think that well, you would have heard a question. Was there one, or? Huh? Am I, have I neglected to answer a question? Um, That was your choice. <laughs> You're a you're a knucklehead. Um, well, I got news for you. Uh -huh. There are going to be teams. That sh I will turn your statement into a question, mm -hmm. and that is, um, who will have, you know, who, who will have the nerve to do it this year? If you look at the top of this year's draft, dude, there are a lot of tackles, kind of players in there, right? Mm -hmm. Or edge players, uh, either one. But uh -huh. you know, whether or not you're going to trust one of those Clemson cats or. You know, the guy you love, Quinnen Williams from, from Alabama, but to your point, he probably has got more of the ideal size and and, and, and weight stats. So Quinnen does? I would think he does. I, I don't know. I haven't looked, but, you know, they Still put you number Quinn four Williams. in the mock draft. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they probably wouldn't do it if, just, you know, your arms were too short or your hands weren't big enough well, or some other six ridiculous. Four. So he's got the body frame. What is Donald only 6'2"? 289. I think Donald is short. Even shorter than that. I don't I'll, I'll look at what they list him at. Um, but I think he's a. Uh, I, I will give you one, one more. Six foot. I'll, I'll give you a question from uh, from last night's game. Do, yeah. If if uh, you know right now. Uh huh. Uh, oh, by the way, I have the penalty for the dime bet board on the Danny Willett. We'll update that a little bit later. All right. Um, but if you had to put up a dime bet right now on the board to win the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. I'll give you the Chiefs and the Rams or the field. 
No, I take the field. You, you gave me four out of the field. I, I'll definitely yeah, those take, four are narrow. Yeah, I'll definitely take the field there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's, there's in my mind. I won't take the field against the four anymore. Yeah, I, I listen, I think. Um, what about to make the Super Bowl? I think one of them probably will, but I don't so think. You would, I'd no. take the field that both won't. You would? Yeah. No, okay, but what about one of them? One of the teams. I, I'd take them. I think one. I think the Chiefs or the Rams will make the Super Bowl. I'm not positive. I'm not either. Yeah. I mean, the Chief, the Rams got to beat the Saints and more. The, listen, the Bears and aren't going to be the Bears aren't going to be a gimme. The Panthers aren't a gimme. I mean, the AFC, the NFC East team stinks. They're not doing anything. But uh, the Steelers could beat the Chiefs. The Patriots have beaten Chargers. the Chiefs. The Chargers. I think haven't the Chargers lost to the Chiefs like. 11 times in a row. Or I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. It's one of those but divisional stats. You, look, you look at the Chiefs' wins. You remember the Chiefs because their offense is so dynamic. You remember them having blowout wins. They have it. Yeah. They beat the Steelers 42-37. They beat the Chargers yeah. like 38-30. I mean, these, the Chiefs' defense, they're, they're not winning the Super Bowl, dude. Yeah. You can't, you, can't, you can't have two losses where you average 45 points. That doesn't yeah. seem possible in the NFL. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Chiefs have won nine in a row against the Chargers. Who is the um, – my question to you is this. The Golden State Warriors have fallen on hard times. If you had a power poll in the NBA, who would you rank number one right now? Uh, boy, that's a good question. I mean, from this standpoint, You're I welcome, mean. welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> I would put the Warriors. So what are we talking? I mean, what are we doing? The best team in the league well, is the Warriors. they went one and four last I week, bro. I get it. I get it. But <laughs> the power poll to me, I mean, are we doing, like, who's I best? I don't think they're panicking. But are, I mean, are, we, are we doing who's best now or who do we think who's got the best chance to win it all? I guess those well, are two I different mean, questions. Yeah, I said if you were doing a power poll was the question right now, what would you? who would you put in our – and you could put the Warriors I, on. I would. I mean, they're playing without Steph Curry. That's, yeah. uh, that's the only reason that they're 12 and 6. They're as good. There's nobody in the – we, do we still agree the West is better than the East, at least a little bit, or no? Uh, yes, yeah. but not not near as much. And they're still they're they got the, they're tied for the best record in the West. Uh, yes. So I, you know, I mean, although I'm not sure the West is better than that. I think Toronto, Milwaukee, maybe even Philly. I mean, Boston isn't playing good. They're they're just nine and eight. They lost again last night. I know. I I think that Toronto. I really like Toronto. I think they're the sleep. I think they're the sleeper with Kawhi playing up north and. They've got a really athletic, interchangeable lineup that's going to be able to play defense against the Bucs. Um, I'm amazed at what Victor Oladipo has become at Indiana. Golden State, you should take a picture of this right now. Golden State, by percentage points right now, is the fourth team in the West. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Yeah, the Clippers, the Grizzlies, surprise, surprise, and the Blazers are all ranked. They're all 11 and 5, so they've yes. had, yeah, just a, a, you know. As an offshoot to uh, – to that question, not a question, but a sports concept and observation that I'll I'll make real quick. Uh, that I don't care where they play it, I don't ca- care how they play it. Uh, you put that little memory song on ESPN with LeBron returning to the land, and I get a little teary eyed. <laughs> <laughs> Do they play there tonight? <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. That's good. Right around Thanksgiving. Have you seen that commercial? I did not get teary eyed. Right, I, Dan, 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 I get teary eyed when I hear that song. <laughs> On the break, I show Dan the Elton John commercial and watch him weep. Correct. All right, last question. We're way over time here. <laughs> right, last question, though, for you. Uh, now just three days away, any wavering at all on the Tiger v. Phil pay-per-view? No. None. Won't even think about it. I'm wavering. It. I'm wavering. Yeah, Maybe I won't I even. I won't even. I guess there was only one 24-7 because it was last week. So there's no – I don't think there'll be another there's one. There's just one, like, special. Beef said he watched it. It made him think about ordering. It did, Beef? Yeah, no chance. I Not- watched the 24-7. I determined that I'm sort of interested in buying it, and also those two guys are major dorks. I mean, Friday, um, did did you watch the whole thing? Yeah, I watched all Why of- was he playing by himself? Because he has no friends. Is that why? Yeah, he probably made a run at all their wives. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's the two-minute – the ten-minute drill, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Caller number six. Wow. Six. Going six. Deep, going deep here. Uh, six uh, at six four one ten ten. before Thanksgiving. Going to yeah. get dinner for two at Boston's Restaurant and Sports Bar, plus airport parking from our friends at USAPark.net. College football on Friday. Ah, stretching.